Good morning, you awesome subscribers. <laughs> Don't ask me why I did that. Um, Hellions, welcome. Good morning. It's another morning. Um, actually, it's very early afternoon, and I'm finally getting my butt up. Um, I was supposed to have picked up Phoenix today, but he's got a cold, so he's going to stay where he's at so he can rest and get better. Um, so, yeah, so it's going to be uh, a, a working day as usual. Um, I got a car to get done, <laughs> cars and stuff like that. So it's going to be an interesting day. And the weather's supposed to be like freaking 80 plus degrees today. So I'm in shorts, probably for the last time this year. Oh my gosh, guys. So I'm at AutoZone right now. This I'm, I just got through doing some Snapchat stuff. But this old guy walks by and I get this whiff. It wasn't disgusting. It wasn't gross. He smelled like Froggy's haunted house scent. I am not lying whatsoever. That was freaking crazy. Total change of plans, guys. Um, and that's what happens when <laughs> when you do what I do. Um, so the job that I was just at, um, the work sold. So I'm going to go out and actually fix the car instead of just diagnosing it. Um, as I sweat like all over you guys. Here you go. I know, awesome, right? So attractive. Um, so, uh, later on tonight, hopefully something else is gonna happen, even though I've got this other car to work on too. I can wait until tomorrow. It can wait, I think, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Change of plans. Yes! In my hot little hands right here, I hold something Halloween related. I am so happy. Oh, you have no idea. Um, <laughs> you guys will remember that like maybe, gosh, it was like three weeks ago, uh, my mom, when she came over, bless her freaking heart, dude, she, um, she paid for a shower curtain for the bathroom, um, because, you know, I don't know, she's exceptionally nice like that. So anyway, uh, when I ordered it, because I ordered it, she gave me the money, I ordered it, um, I, and I'm just saying this because, so that you guys don't think that I'm like spending money in my current situation, so... Anyway, with that being said, this thing said that it may not get here until like September 25th. And it's like, that was like a month, a month to ship it. And I'm like, gosh, where's it coming from? China? Yeah, well, it came from China. <laughs> Literally. Shanghai, Shanghai, China. Min Hang Q, Min Hang Q, 269, Hu Qing Ping Road. So anyway, uh, we're going to open this here in a little bit. I just thought that that was kind of cool. So I just got done with the job, so I got to put all my tools away and stuff like that. And I think I'm going to leave this one till tomorrow. And then we're going to go out and do some awesome stuff. Awesomer than what I've been doing. I'm headed to the secret location. It's not really secret, but you guys don't know where I'm headed right now. But you guys remember this jacket. What is this jacket? Hugh Hefner has his smoking jacket. This is my what jacket? Can you guess before you find out in the vlog? Hmm. It's actually a beautiful night out, guys. This is a really, really nice night. Oh, there's Bath Pro Shop over there. We've been there before. We vlogged from there. Man, it's just weird. Like, every place that I've vlogged from, like around the whole city, it's just weird because you guys can't place it. But I, is that my exit? No. Um, you know, I can place it and I know it's just really weird. I should find some place that I haven't vlogged from and vlog from there. Wait a second, have any of you guys ever like tried to like find out like done research for my city or whatever to be like Ooh, okay, well Troy's here and then he went here and you actually looked at it on a map. Do I have any stalkers? Are you guys stalking me? I don't know. Man, I should really find some food before I go to where I'm going. Food? 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 Shift? Food? Food? You got food? Food? You got food? 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 Food is a weird word if you say it many times. I have to turn. Food? Food? 7-Eleven, not food. Dang it. I was so hoping there'd be food on the way. Ugh. Food. I know, I know, I know. I've got leftovers and I did eat leftovers for lunch. So I had it for dinner last night, didn't eat breakfast, had it for lunch today, didn't want to eat it again for lunch today, so I'll have it for lunch tomorrow. Really? Seriously? There's nothing around here. There's residential houses and then there's like, bam, a subway. How did they know I needed food? South I know, stop talking to me. Feet, turn right onto South no, I don't want to turn, stop it. GPS, I signed into. So as I sit here and really talk with my mouth full, which my mommy told me not to do, 
Um, I will tell you guys that. Well, hold on a second. There's a car. I'm gonna let this car pass here first. That car that's right there with the power steering wine. That whole building over there, the whole thing is vacant from there over there. It used to be a Dollar Tree. There used to be a SARS market there. They're all closed. So what does that tell you? Haunt. Always thinking. Oh, okay. Good to see you, buddy. All right, good to see you. So you guys, Ram is here, and this is Jim. You guys remember Jim? No. Yes. This is Jim's haunt. He is starting his haunt, which is really awesome. And because I'm such a bad friend, I don't know what he calls his haunt. Shattered Dreams House of Horror. Yes. See, look at that. That was perfect freaking timing. Yes. That was nice. I even, I even supply <laughs> fireworks. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, fire, fire. <laughs> which is cool. <laughs> so, so what are we? <laughs> so what are we doing here? Okay. Now this all gets tarped off. You okay. cannot see the house from the road. Okay. This gets there will be a wall here. There's a this is will be a full blown facade, but it's our exit wall here. Okay. Then this is our entrance that is not obviously is not here right now. <laughs> well, I thought we had to use our imaginations. This it's is, invisible. You, know, you gotta stretch your imagination <laughs> because there'll be a full blown entrance right here. Okay. As a matter of fact, the pole right here. There's how we anchor. Right there's the pole. The pole. The pole. <laughs> pole. Yeah. pole. pole. <laughs> pole. <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh, settle down, Davis. Uh, uh, <laughs> and then you'll come through, and this is our Ooh. this is our organ, organ scene. This is actually a pipe. Will be a full blown pipe organ. It don't play. It has no power. Ah. But Again, we have perfect. organ music. Perfect timing with the sound effects again. That is mighty nice of them to do that for us. So we ah, got, there we go. Organ. We got our now. organ. It's kind of a dirty thing, but we like it dirty here. <laughs> so you will come through. Oh. Door number one. Door number one. Into our solarium, which is an absolute disaster right now. Okay. As you can see, we're haunters. We 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 uh, store stuff yeah. any way we can. So I mean, it's still September too, so it's early stages. You're just starting. Yes, I, but we're just I, starting. I thought you guys would be interested in seeing the beginning of a haunt, since I'm not doing one. Sorry. It's storage right now. And then you go through door number two. Door number two. The, all these doors are on spring loaded, so they will close right behind you. Once you're in, nice. you're in. You don't get out. This is our living room scene. Cool. They will be living. There will be unliving portraits in here, and portraits, and fireplace, and some other creepy things. This will be probably one of our only scenes that had, does not have a live actor in it. All of our other scenes have live actors. Into door number three. Into our dungeon. Ooh, sparking cage, right? No sparking cage. Ah, creepy little possessed girl that's ten years old on a swing, swinging back and forth, which will have pentagrams and crosses on her face and all sorts of devilish things. Nice devilish things. Help me, me, kill, kill. Now it's hard to see right now, but you'll get the idea. This is our. This is actually an actor hallway. Those are pallets. They are lots <laughs> of pallets here. There will be a hallway here. You will go through the hallway. Behind this foam, I'll even remove the foam for you because this is not attached yet. If you've been to Hellmouth before, you know what a drop panel is. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. yes. The drop panel. The drop panel, because that scares the shit out of people. <laughs> then you will come into this. <laughs> You'll come into this big Ram's kind of scary too. <laughs> of, of an area, they are. They will be somebody chained to a wheelchair. They were somebody on a gurney. Uh, yeah, they're either going to be dead or insane. We don't know yet. Ooh, how about dead and insane? Yes. Or insanely dead? Did we like that idea? God, I, I'm just full of them today. Yes. God, that's a blinding light, and I can't pick you up on the camera. Ha 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 ha! I messed with your white balance, sir. <laughs> <laughs> then you will come through here. Through hey, you another, said. Never mind. Through another, through another hallway. He's gonna, he's gonna come in here. 
<laughs> that leave it to Ram. I'm in here. <laughs> yeah, well, so did you. Yeah. This is uh, yeah, this is true. And this is our butcher shop, which is, doesn't resemble a butcher shop right now, but it will. I like it, your color changing. Is, does this stay? No, this will be mounted somewhere else. Okay, I love the color change. That's awesome. Then you will turn this corner. Sorry, we're trying and to get right here. That blink spot right over there will actually be a ticket booth to our to our fun house. Now, see, you didn't tell us about the ticket booth when we came. There will be us. a ticket booth there. Okay, this, what's it going to look like? A ticket booth. <laughs> what kind of ticket booth? A very evil, creepy clown ticket booth. Now, will it be an actual ticket booth? I mean, are you selling tickets? No, we will not be selling tickets, but. You'll get the picture. <laughs> or is it going to be a booth with a ticket in it? That could be. You never know. You better watch out. He's going to kill you, and then you're going to be the one that's that's <laughs> that's in it. We like the sound of death around here. This is our kind of. This is our thing. Watch the first step. It's Ooh, a little wow. tricky. It's high. And then you will He's come. Been the you will actually come into here. And if you were at the barbecue, or if you've seen the barbecue <laughs> vlog. You know what this is. It's Craig Moore. Oh. Oh, no, I know, know what, what that is, is too. You, yes. You will know, if you were at the barbecue or seen the vlog from a barbecue, you know what this is. They will be a couple, dis, you know, those disillusioned mirrors. Mm -hmm. There will be a couple of those oh, in here. Awesome. Nice. And you will have to go through and, you know, get your face deformed and everything else and have to get away from our evil clown because all this will get covering and stuff like that. It won't be exposed palettes. But you will have to exit out from here. Sure I wasn't the only one Which, when you come out here, you will have to <laughs> hey, meet people out here. You will have to meet Peter Rottentail Ooh, when you hit when you get to this area. That. that seems very private. <laughs> Rug burns have already done that, sweetheart. Oh shit! Wow. Oh yeah. See what we just walked out to. I was going to say, don't you hate it when you just like walk into something that you're like, uh huh. Ready then. <laughs> it's been one of those nights. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah fire already, so. Troy. Troy is just getting here. He's missed a whole round of the good stuff already. After they exit from there, obviously they don't come to a fire unless you're having a fire. No, we will not be having a fire. This is Peter Rottentail's scene. Okay. Which Peter Rottentail is a gigantic bunny, evil bunny that you know, <coughs> likes to slaughter things. Uh, thumbnail for the vlog. Right, oh, right there. Thumbnail for the vlog. Click, golden. Okay, continue. This, coming down through here now. This will be a web, a cobweb tunnel. Cobwebs. You got to go through a massive amount of cobweb to get to get to here. And this is our nursery. And when I mean nursery, we're talking more like a daycare, or like a children's daycare, but for, you know, like zombie babies and creepy dolls. And a creepy doll, porcelain doll live actor. Intent. All of this. Holy cow, that's a huge freaking tombstone. Oh, yes, that's one of my other creations. <laughs> and then for all you little trick-or-treat, you know, all the people that are brave enough to get through the haunt that are little and they want to go trick-or-treating, you get to go be creepy candy. At our magical front door. I like the name, Creepy Candy. That's awesome. Come down through here. Do this little walkway. This will be a full-blown cemetery scene. Our, fin our, our, our pillars are kind of... I think your neighbor's choking on themselves. Yes. Okay. Just making sure she you didn't need medical to, transport. You'll have to enter here. Because this will be wall walled off. This is the entrance to the wolf's den. And the wolf's den goes from here all the way throughout the exit. So for all you little five-year-olds that think it's safe going through our wimp entrance, think again, you still gotta get past the werewolf. <laughs> Not easy to do. And then you're out of our haunt. And that is the walkthrough of Shattered Dreams House of Horror. Nice. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Pound it. Pound the camera. Pound it. Periscope up. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm going to put a haunted house fire to see if I get any more people.
Because, you know, a haunted house fire is like, oh my god, there's a fire in a haunted house. That's cruel. Well, it is cruel. But so, anyway, guys, Troy is on Periscope. Haunt, Hellmouth Haunted House is on Periscope. He's using a Periscope. I'm vlogging right next to him, which is probably confusing him. Plus, he's vlogging as well. I am vlogging as well. So, we've got three Hello, vlogs everybody. Going. I'm as well. So, hold on. I, I, I need to say this really quickly because this is really awesome. So, um, Liz is talking about tombstones. And actually, uh, so are you. But anyway, and you guys can't see me. So, just go by the audio. Um, you we're talking. want to see your uh, glasses. Oh, can you? With the, like the fire? Yes. Like, the fire <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so we're talking about uh, different kinds of foam, pink, blue, and and Liz mentioned white. And I, I just want to kind of see her expression, which you guys aren't going to be able to see it. But I'm going to turn on you. I kind of want to see your expression because if you take white foam, and if that's the stuff that you're using for the tombstones, then you can go to the Dollar Tree and get some cool or some really cheap contact paper. Put it on the front of the tombstone, mm -hmm. cut out your design. So just cut out like the letters and stuff. And then you use regular old spray paint and you spray it and it will eat away the letters and you mm -hmm. peel the stuff off and you're done. Yeah. For the white film? Yes. So there you guys go, Hillmouth tip of the day. Before you guys even say anything, I already know what I forgot to do and I apologize for it. This jacket is my campfire jacket. So obviously that's where we went. Um, but in my campfire jacket, I took something. Can you guys guess what I took? You're never going to guess it in a million years. So Liz and her husband brought marshmallows to the campfire. This marshmallow is freaking huge. So I thought, oh my gosh, this would be so cool to put in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, you guys already see where I'm going with this. Um, there you go. On a plate. I mean, look at that. That's almost the size of my freaking hand. At least like two of my fingers, and I got big old fat fingers, so. All right. Yes, it's 1243. I know this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's huge. Oh my gosh. That is huge. Go, Marshmallow. Go. Wow. Wow. That's the size of the plate. Now, now it is the size of my hand. Didn't want to burn it though, because I still want to eat it. Yeah, it was in my jacket pocket, but I still want to eat it. It's a marshmallow. It's good. If you guys do me a favor, if you haven't already, subscribe. Um, if you haven't already, thumbs up. And then please don't forget about Psycho. Because we're going to watch that on Monday the 21st. So make sure to, uh, and I don't think I've done it yet. The link down below. Hopefully I'll remember to do it. Um, to uh, younow.com forward slash Halloween Hellmouth. Make sure to like us. And look, just in that time that I've been talking, and I, I don't think I probably edited that, um, the marshmallow has shrunk back down almost to its normal size. Ladies and ghouls, the vlog is way, way, way too long today, so I will simply say happy haunting. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll uh, unbox the shower curtain tomorrow, and we will also do cock for two nights. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.